man, you get four guys in a room who live and breathe and bleed Georgia football, and we start arguing about who the best players under Kirby Smart are. Y'all, this this is podcasting gold. If you don't know what the standard is, let me tell you, we've just said it next on Locked on Bulldogs. You are Locked on Bulldogs, your daily podcast on the Georgia Bulldogs, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. What is up, everybody? Hello and welcome to the Locked On Bulldogs podcast. Uh, thanks for making us your first listen. Today's episode brought to you by our friends at Nissan, NissanUSA.com. More on them in a moment. And you heard us, Luke Robinson. We're the standard for podcasting. That's what that's what Clint is trying to tell you. And to um, couldn't be more excited about an episode. We had part one of our offensive players that played under Kirby Smart Fantasy Draft. So we're drafting Georgia players from the last eight years that played under uh, Kirby Smart. Uh, that's uh, Michael, the executive producer intern of fame on this podcast. And John, our buddy, John Tweet Sports, who, by the way, we didn't shout out last time, John. Go listen to the Dog Dispatch uh, show that John's got oh, going on right now. It's fantastic. You're a Georgia Listen, fan. It's Go not check podcasting that thing out. gold. It's not podcasting it gold, but, but it's getting there. It's working its way. You should it's yeah, work- just come, just come it's, check it out. Thank you. It's working its way. Um, John also hosts a show called the Speakeasy Sports Show that I can neither confirm nor deny is worth listening to. But um, uh, you should check all those things out. And um, today we are finishing up our. A fantasy draft of uh, offensive players, and so let's let me run down the teams real quick in case you have missed it. Okay, on my team, I've got Nick Chubb, Lad McConkey, Darnell Washington, Broderick Jones, Jamari Sawyer, Oscar Delp, and Isaiah McKenzie. Who just feels good coming out of the mouth. Uh, John's got Brock Bowers, Jake from McCole Hardman, Sony Michelle, Isaiah Wilson, Warren McClendon. And Kenny Mack, Michael has got George Pickens, Carson Beck, A.D. Mitchell, James Cook, Cedric Van Pran, Ben Cleveland, Kendall Milton, and Clint has got Stetson, Fleming, Bennett, the fourth, the fourth, DeAndre Swift, on uh, Andrew Thomas, Lawrence Cager, Dom Blaylock, Kiaris Jackson, and Solomon Kenley, and Clint is up first, and so Clint. <laughs> This, we're podcasting silver now because you did that, but we're falling fast. It's falling fast. Um, uh, if, just so you guys us, know, we're, we're glad you're here. We're glad you're going to listen to the thrilled. loyal third segment. But just so you know, whatever comments you leave us on today's podcast, you can't hurt us. We got four of our best friends this together was, talking about football. You, that's why we you got into the me. biz right here. This, this is, is it. This is hey, it. listen, I'll tell you what. I'm not even going to read the comments, so just say whatever you want to say <laughs> yeah. about me. Come at, come at it. I love, I love that. Look, here's the deal. Um, I feel great about my my receiving threats. I got the best quarterback ever to play at UGA, DeAndre Swift. He needs a couple guys in front of him. Got Solomon Kinley, Andrew Thomas. But what if I just went ahead and got uh, Justin Schaefer? Added him right into that offensive line. And okay. now we are cooking with a full stew. Mm-hmm. Things are happening. Justin Schaefer uh, of Atlanta Falcon fame. Uh, yeah. But, but more importantly, yeah. a damn good dog played. So give me Jordan Schaefer. Oh, I like it. Uh, you know, comments made yesterday or the other day. I've lost all track of time. When are we <laughs> recording this? Uh, comments made about Daniel recruiting like the the all-time favorites for the 40 and over crowd. Mm. Um, I got to get in on that action. So John picked up Isaiah Wilson, despite, you know, some, some uh, poor outcomes in the end there. I want to pick up another Isaiah that has a much different trajectory. Uh, in fact, still having quite a storied career in the pros. Let me go Isaiah Wynn. That's a good one. Some more mass. Yeah, that's a good one. I was debating between Schaefer and Wynn, totally honest, M-dubs. Uh, I don't fall. That's great value right there. It's a great pick. Um, I'm going to listen. I, I, I just, 
I'm just going to get right to it. I've got to pick a center. There's oh. only one other one that I would want besides Cedric Van Pran. Give me Trey Hill. Um, let's yep. go ahead and add him to my list. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, and complete this road grader of a lot line, offensive line that I'm building um, that is going to run over. Whenever we do the defense, I've got to understand who you're going to have on defense, but it doesn't really matter because this team is going to come downhill at you fast. Give me Trey Hill. Yeah. You guys remember that Kentucky game that Trey Hill just mm. took over? Mm. Golly, oh, yeah. geez. Oh, yeah. I'm tilting a little bit right now because I had three guys in the hopper and two of them just got taken and I got back to back picks now. And so you guys got me, you guys got me feeling a certain kind of way um, here. God, I wanted Trey Hill yeah. <laughs> real bad. Um, the lower half on Trey Hill might be the most impressive like single physical attribute on a Georgia player of all time. You heard me, Michael. You, you Pause. heard me. You heard me. Ask Clint. Ask Clint after he goes downstairs in a minute. Ask him about it. <laughs> ask him about it. He'll let you know. All right. I'm going to go. I need to get into the offensive line, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. My first pick is easy. All right. I've got Broderick Jones and Jamari Sawyer, yeah. but I'm just going to. I'm just going to knock Jamari Sawyer inside a little bit because I'm going to take Marius Mims, y'all. I don't know what – I don't know. Marius Mims is still on the board. It's – like that's a – that's an absolute gold mine of a pick uh, for me to be getting this late in the game. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to get a little weird, okay? I could go – I could go some different directions here. Okay. No, I'm going to hold it. No, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to get a little weird. I'm going to get weird. You've been gone weird. You're just yeah, they already, went, they already got weird. <laughs> nope, not yet. <laughs> I'm going to take Ernest Green. I've got four tackles on my oh, team mm. so far. I'm going to take Ernest Green and Amarius Mims. Wow. Y'all ain't going to have nobody to play tackle because I got Broderick <laughs> Jones. I got Jamari Sawyer. I got Amarius Mims. I got Ernest Green. I slide any of them I want inside. It don't matter none. It doesn't matter what I do. Y'all can't have any tackles. So that's it. I have a list here of my picks mm -hmm. for left tackle, and they are Andrew Thomas, which Clint took, sure. and then Ernest Green, Jamari Sawyer, Broderick Jones. They're gone. They're all yeah. available. No, they're all they gone. gone. They're all gone. So I'm gonna take them all. I'll just take them all. Well, I'll I'll keep it rolling. I listen. I will tell you. I'm not. I'm not. I don't analyze the lower half of these guys as the as much as Daniel does. Uh, listen, clearly, the dogs dispatch that, show will get there. It will get I, there in terms of its an analytical value. But it's just. But not I tell there you what. Yet. I tell you what. I do analyze. I do analyze the hair and that's really important to me oh you son of a give me tate ratledge and yeah, the he yeah he went tate and wearing he number 69 tate. he went and just tate. being the 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 quintessential no, the boss uh, hog sec boss mm -hmm. hog on mm -hmm. an offensive line give me tate ratledge boys oh <clears throat> i love it i love that pick it's a good one it's a good one um war mcclendon still on the board Nope, he's oh, on my nope. team. He gone. He gone. Oh, God, he, he gone. gone. Oh man, I can have the other Warren, Warren Erickson. You could. <laughs> Xavier Truss is still available. Um, I don't Xavier have... Truss available. <laughs> Xavier Truss. Yeah, he's available. He's there. I, I don't have a tight end yet. Um, and there are really mm. no no more elite tight ends uh, necessarily on the board. I don't know how you feel about John Fitzpatrick. Experience is there, but um. I'm going to go on a promise, and that is the promise of, of the flashes I saw from Lawson Lucky this past season. I'm going to go ahead and pick him up, um, banking on some production. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. Like Eric Listen, Gilbert's like still on the board, and he's taking Lawson Lucky. I don't know what I don't know what we're even doing out here. It's a five star. You know he's five stars. He had five stars. That's what he had. I'll never forget the the media hype about Eric Gilbert transferring to Georgia. And Todd Munkin saying, yeah, he kind of reminds me of Brock Bowers a little bit. And nobody knew Brock Bowers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
Todd Monk had said, yeah, he'd be fine if it was he won another team, but he ain't going to get no snaps here. <clears throat> Yo, where I, are we going to go here? Recency bias has you guys in a blender because I just have my last pick locked up, and my last pick is glorious. I'm going to remind you of his name. You're going to remind SEC games, and it's going to make you be like, oh, wait, what was I thinking? Well, the other tight ends are, are incredible. Um, but this is a man. Talk about over 40 crowd and a man that uh, Trey Hill has a Ken like. Uh, Lamont Galliard is oh. just a beast of a man. And we, we man. have had a run of awesome, but that man I hate knows that man. what to do in the middle of an offensive line. Mm -hmm. Lamont, welcome to the team, brother. We're going to come back after these. We're going to pick up this draft and keep it going. But first these. Are you the kind of driver that likes to push things a little further or the type of podcast that just gets off the rails <laughs> because we're going so fast? Ever, want, ever wonder what adventure could be around the next corner? I, I shudder to think what around the corner when Daniel opens his Or mouth. just downstairs. What adventure could be waiting for you downstairs? Our friends at Nissan have a lot of SUVs with the capabilities. I hate you. To take your adventure to the next level. You know what? Nissan Rogue is perfect for city drives and city escapes. Class exclusive. Google built in always updating assistant to call on for f almost anything. The 2024 Rogue is the perfect midsize crossover for your next adventure. And that Armada, it is like a, a Spanish vessel just coasting down it's the, the fleet middle. fleet of cars, but it's all in one car. One car. Will change what you expect from a full-size SUV. Picture a rugged 4x4 that can seat up to eight first-class luxury in style. Tow bigger and explore further 2024 armada take the nissan rogue pathfinder or armada and go find your next big adventure shop nissanusa.com all right clint you're you're back on the clock yeah. for your penultimate pick who are you gonna go with um I got I got one more after this, do I not, Daniel? That's that's what penultimate means, second to last pick. Um, I'm just making sure. Yep. Um, because there was some confusion on on that before, and mm -hmm. you you you're gonna pick twice more, but I'm just, just once now. Well, I, I'm gonna save my last pick. That's gonna remind you all, and I'm gonna go. This name again is an oldie but a goodie, uh, and we may have forgotten how much of a of a solidifying uh, a voice he was. John the Theus. Um, I hate you. <laughs> what? Just false sorry, started. I just false started. You just false started again. Just, just one more time. Yes, false it's started. Bad. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Um, no, and that's that's Baker. Offensive line, Baker. Come on in. Solidifying voice within uh, that group. Played a lot of different positions. I need some help on the offensive line because I need to shift some guys around. I don't have tackles like Daniel has for days. No so one I'm has get tackles. Xavier Trust well, still available. I refuse to put him at tackle, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Refuse. He's going to play a lot of different positions for me on the offensive line. We're gonna we're gonna get that thing going. Michael, there you go. Um, gosh, you guys have. I I told you before we started this draft. I've got seventeen offensive linemen ranked. We need. What do we need? Twenty. Yeah, we're going to need right a now. full twenty. Yeah, and trust me. Yeah, and I, I am down to slim pickings. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna go again on a little little hope and a promise, and I'm gonna pick up Austin Blasky hmm. for okay. uh, a line unproven, but I think promise. I know there are probably better guys out there, but I can't think of them right now. So. I, one more in the I love the I love the just like blatant. I know there are better guys out there, but I don't have the <laughs> first I... clue who they are. <laughs> we are scrolling through rosters and years, and it we is are, hard. We are googling. <laughs> There's the finding nothing. <laughs> Boy, all right, John, where are we going? Uh, I need another pass catcher. Mm. Um, you know, I, I look. A, there's a this... couple great ones still available. Yeah, I look down this list and I'm going to pick a great one, Daniel. Yeah, because I need a pass catcher who uh, a guy who can who can be physical, but who can also turn on the Jets and who also when you need a catch mm -hmm. in the corner of the end zone to save the Ooh. season early in the season. Yep. In one of the most iconic stadiums in all of college football. Give me Terry Godwin. 
Yes. Wait. Ooh, mm. that's not where yeah. I thought you were going to go. I love it. Give me Terry Goffman. I love it. That's what I'm going with. The moment Georgia's fate changed forever, you could argue, in Notre Dame Stadium when Terry Goblin made that catch. Love Terry Goblin. Not only that, but also Terry oh. Goblin, uh, just that entire season, the guy did nothing but make catches when he needed a catch to be made. Yeah, 100%. Um, are we updating this um, we're, we're getting this there. list here? <clears throat> I missed M-Dubs uh, from, no, from you when me. I got you. Yeah. No. I see Isaiah You're win good. and blast. Did you have Warren McClendon too? Somebody pick Warren McClendon. No, right? I've already picked Warren McClendon. Yeah, he, oh, he, um, no, yeah, M Dubs, you did pick somebody else. Yeah. I who was your first or pick? Lost and lucky. Lost and lucky. 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 There you go. That's it. All right. Well, um, I'm down to my last two picks. I'm gonna make them back to back. I need an offensive lineman, I need a quarterback. I'm gonna take Warren Erickson as my offensive lineman. I'm thrilled that he fell to me. Because I love Warren Erickson. He's the most versatile offensive lineman that's been taken in this draft. I can slide him anywhere I want. He's going to play center for me because I got four tackles playing next to him. So he's definitely going to line up at center for me. I don't trust any of those other guys to touch the football ever. But Warren Erickson is is probably the third best center in the Kirby Smart era, I'm going to say. Uh, and so I, I love the pick there. So I'm going to go with him, and then um, it's time to take a quarterback. Now, fellas, Here we go. there are three There are three options on the board, and no, Justin Fields is not one of them and whatever. One of the three options for quarterback, hear me out, is Gunnar Stockton. I get that he's never started a game at Georgia, but he is still – when. When Stetson Bennett, Carson Beck, and Jake Fromm are off the board, he, he is one of the three options. He's not the one I'm going to go with. Hmm. I'm going to go with a five-star gunslinger as my quarterback. The question is, is it going to be JT Daniels or is it going to be Jacob Eason? And the answer is it's going to be Jacob Eason. Fellas. It has to be Eason. Has to be. I love JT Daniels, and I think at Georgia he would have won national championships as well. At Rice, not so much, but at Georgia he would have won national championships. How are you disrespecting you... his time at West Virginia? <laughs> yeah, Just in between I, Georgia, I refuse to even acknowledge that he was at West Virginia. John, I like my man out here picking his quarterback and saying the whole time, "No, I'm going to just crap on JT." Yeah. <laughs> I'm using this opportunity. Jacob Eason is the guy. Jacob Eason, first of all, never loses his job to Jake Fromm if it weren't for that injury, that that you know ankle tackle in the App State game. Um, uh, he would have gone on to have a great season in 2017. I absolutely believe it. And um, I love him on this team. So I feel great about Jacob Eason, and uh, that rounds out my team. But if Jacob Eason had never gotten hurt, we wouldn't know how well Jake Fromm could throw to the right hash. You know what I'm saying? I mean, those right – he was glorious. When you put him on that short field, you give him that seven-yard option route, it is just money. I promise money. you, does nobody have a pass catcher left to draft? we got three more picks. We'll talk about it in the third segment. But nobody's taking Javon Wims, and I'm mad about it. I'm just I was absolutely about mad Javon about Wimps. it. Will you right. hold on? All right. Guys, All right. Nobody says I need guys. five offensive linemen. We already covered this. <laughs> I have four. Guys. <laughs> All right, it's my pick. Listen, yeah, I need another pass catcher, okay? And I need a guy who not only has the speed, not only is one of the most underrated pass catchers of the Kirby Smart era. People don't talk about him enough. But when he gets to the NFL, if you if you cross this man, this man will fight you right he there will on the field. Throw hands, he will throw hands at your face, right there at your face yes. on the field. Give me Javon Wims. I love Javon to round out my team. It's a great pick. An it's absolute, great. an absolute baller. I love Javon Wims. I would. I can't wait to see Javon Wims in an offense uh, with Brock Bowers um, because you talk about. Oh, you yeah, got it's going to be great. You got some contested catch ability. Is what you've got in that offense. I love that. Jake Fromm throwing that back shoulder. <laughs> That's the, problem is, is, the problem is, the problem is, is, is Brock Bowers going to be between the hashes? Cause if so, he ain't getting that ball. No. He ain't going to get that ball. 
because Jake Fromm can't throw it to him. Be the greatest decoy to ever come through UGA. Yeah. Um. Okay. So so I need a fifth offensive lineman, but the only guy on my list. Uh, I, I would give him four out of, four out of five stars because I wouldn't have a fifth finger. Mm. Give him the fifth star. Oh my gosh. You, but listen, I I might be can't. tempted to look at the comments. So I cannot draft Cade Mays. No, as Lord. As he might be. can't do it. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to play the the populist fan pick here, and I'm going to pick up a third running back because Zamir White is still on the board. And so I'm you're going to you're going to feel the team with four offensive linemen and Lawson Lucky. Lawson Lucky's going to play right tackle for you. He's I love do this. It. So I'm writing down moon pie. Just got weird. I'm writing down. <laughs> just got weird. <laughs> oh, you said there's 11 players. Yeah, that's true. Just <laughs> Damn, I should have just gone with 11 skill players. That would have been great. Nice. Like, I told you guys before we started, my O line would be crappy, but I would pick some good skill well, players. Well, yes. there's never three crappy and not having a full <laughs> offensive line. So let's just, let's just be clear. That is true, but. John, you also don't have a full offensive line. You got four offensive line. Work I knew it. You knew have it. a you have four offensive it. linemen as well. It. And I knew it as soon as it was coming out of my mouth. I knew it. That's all right. We're good. Oh, oh man, I have Brock right. Bowers. Okay, that oh, is so true. You tell you me. At least you tell me a, I don't have a full. You, offensive you at least have, have an inline blocker team. that that can hold his own. Clint, are you going to draft a player that will that will be able to play for you? And the that's the question we're all asking. Yeah. You can draft a Daniel second quarterback. Five tackles because Big O is hybrid. Out yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Um, y'all don't remember Isaac Nada and what he was able to do in a in a short spurt. I'm not asking for tight end of NFL acclaim. I'm just talking about a dude that was able to get a couple of long touchdown runs. I was actually really uh, tempted here to go Charlie Warner. Charlie uh, Warner is a better pick. To, to be well, well, my pick's not over. So Charlie Warner, how about that? <laughs> how about that? Thanks. Well, listen, work smarter, not harder. This man's out here <laughs> playing, playing checkers. All right, we're gonna review all the teams. We're gonna talk about how many offensive linemen were drafted and why it was eighteen. Uh, all of that coming up right after this. But this is in fact. FanDuel. Daniel and I love FanDuel. They're fantastic. They're great. The official sports book of Locked On Bulldogs. Locked On Podcasts everywhere. The Smith boys love it as well. And that's because right now you can get over there, make any $5 wager. If it wins, you get 150 bucks in bonus bets right to your account. And this just in, maybe you want to go to a big game and that big game you need to get over to and you need to get no, that's the wrong one, Daniel. I'm just joking. I'm, I'm being silly. No, you're not going to. Uh, but all your NBA players and teams with quick bets, live same game parlays, exclusive props, and more. Just visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and shoot your shot. FanDuel, official sportsbook partner of the NBA. All well, right. M Dubs well, wrote 20 offensive linemen on a sheet and nope. disregarded right, two of them. 17 Seven offensive 17. linemen, and that is one fewer than we picked for our four teams. Um, here are the teams. We've drafted 11 offensive players. I have got Nick Chubb, Lad McConkey, Darnell Washington, Brock Bowers, Jamari Sawyer, Oscar Delp, Isaiah McKenzie, Amarius Mims, Ernest Green, Warren Erickson, and Jacob Eason. John has got uh, Brock Bowers, Jake Fromm, McCole Hardman, Sony Michelle, <clears throat> Isaiah Wilson, Warren McClendon. Kenny Mack, Trey Hill, Tate Ratledge, Terry Godwin, Javon Wims, M Dubs, George Pickens, Carson Beck, A. D. Mitchell, James Cooks, Cedric Van Pran, Ben Cleveland, Kendall Milton, Lawson Lucky, Isaiah Wynn, Austin Blasky, and Zamir White. Um Clint Scott Stetson, Bennett, DeAndre Swift, Andrew Thomas, Lawrence Cager. Uh Don Blaylock, Kiaris Jackson, Solomon Kinley, Justin Schaefer, Lamont Gilliard, Baker. Baker Mayfield, I assume that's who that is. It just says Stop. Baker on the sheet. Stop. And Charlie Warner. Um, all right, fellas. If you had to pick a team that is the best team that's not yours, whose team are you taking? Clint, we'll start with you. 
Um, I am tempted. I, the one that snaps right out of the face is just John Cena. You got Brock Bowers. Okay. Like just okay, great. Well, we could stop yeah. the list there. Brock Bowers, the the four of us and anyone else that you know. That's a pretty sure. good football team. Pretty good, pretty let's, good football team. Pretty good. Let's roll. But he also has, in fact, pretty good uh offensive linemen with Sony Michelle. Uh, and, and a couple of pass catchers that you don't really need. They just need to get a couple of three yard sticks or a couple option routes in the middle. Cause Brock's going to be taken care. Of. So that stands out to me. Um, but Daniel, I got to say outside, if, if you're just telling me that what you're going to do is line up and just ram through a running game, that, that's what you're going to do. You're, you're not going to pass Easton's out there. I know he's getting through, but he ain't passing nothing. Cause that ball's going to sail seven yards over everybody's head that he's throwing to anyway. Wow. Son Isaiah McKenzie, so you can hit him in the back of the end zone. Touchdown. We beat Vandy. Suck it. <laughs> I would I would split my vote between uh John and yourself. All right. Dubs, who who are you going with? Who's got the best team? You know, it's hard for me to get past the, the bottom half of Ernest Green. <laughs> um it's Trey Hill. That's the bottom half. Oh, Trey, Trey Hill, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget, I forget who you're talking about. It, it's, Ernest, it's the Ernest Green pick that sent me spiraling. Mm. Honestly, I didn't think you'd pick up another tackle. Yeah, I thought I've got Ernest Green unlocked. That that sent me spiraling. Um, but I'm I'm gonna say, you know, ah, damn it, it's Daniel. As much as I hate to admit it, um. I don't know what the policy is on cussing. You guys really need a producer who can tell me these things. If you yeah. think that's cussing, Caitlin DeBoer has some conversation to have. With okay. Us. <laughs> that would not be allowed. That would not be allowed in the new Alabama. Don't program. use those darn words in that Tuscaloosa facility. You're not going to get away with that. You're darn right. Absolutely. Uh, no, I got to go. I mean, Nick Chubb, Big O, uh, Isaiah McKenzie, just phenomenal pick. And that offensive line unbelievable we know the trenches are where the game is won so i gotta give it to daniel john listen daniel built a team that is three yards in a cloud of dust from 2017 right. okay that is not the team that you're there we go win okay. with okay. the keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself it is not the people why it's listen <laughs> listen no that's not the, <laughs> listen it's the the, tr the true objective pick. If you look at these picks and you go down the line, the best team is clearly Daniels. <laughs> so I really listen, wanted you I to mean, say is, is mine is John. It is like it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's belongs the best team. The best the team that's going to win is my team. If we're talking about the best team, it that was picked. It's Daniels. Those are two very different things, um, because Ooh. what's going to happen is is my team is going to confuse the hell out of everyone because we have four <laughs> offensive linemen and Brock yes. Powers. Um, yeah. Is he eligible? Is he not eligible? Like what? Like you talk <laughs> about a scheme? You talk about a scheme exactly. Yeah. Um, so uh, no, I love my team. I feel like my team is is the better team, uh, but I, I will give it. I will give it to Daniel, um, and I'll also say too, like. The lower half of Trey Hill, <laughs> Trey of Hill. Trey Hill, <laughs> should count for more than we've given it credit for, even on this show today. Um, yeah. It's kind of like the lower half of Clint's house, which is the downstairs. There is a yeah. lot. There's a lot going on. Lot going on. So it's just there's a I lot like going guys, on. I feel like you guys know something about Trey Hill that the rest of us don't know. I just. <laughs> I want to sit with the people right now. I can outside. neither confirm nor deny that Trey there's, Hill is at yacht. Clint's house on level one right now. Like, I can neither confirm it is all I'm saying. I don't know that that's true. I don't know that it's not true. Um, I'm going to uh, say this right now. All of you yappers can keep yapping. My will, team is smoking your guys' team, and it's not even a question. Like it, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. I haven't made my pick yet. I, okay. I like Clint's team a lot, and I really want to pick it because I think other than my O-line, which is just filled with dominant difference makers, I think Clint has the Solomon Kenley pick, the Justin Schaefer pick, the Gilliard Stetson, and Stenner. Stetson Bennett. I mean, and Andrew God, Thomas. Like, and then Clint's got Stetson Bennett. Like, there's the greatest. And he's got DeAndre Swift. I love the team. The pass catchers, Clint... Yeah. And I don't mean to, I don't want to come out here and like 
agree with Justin, which by the way, shout out to Justin. Come on. Um, he be tweeting and it was his idea to, that we should do this draft. It was the fact that you took Don Blaylock and Kiaris Jackson. And then today John came around behind you and took Javon Wims. If you had taken Javon Wims instead of one of those two guys, I would pick your team far and away as the team um, to beat. If John had four offensive linemen, he would have the best team, but he just, <laughs> buddy, but, just... but if John's, if John's going to stick, John's going to stick um, Kenny McIntosh on the line of scrimmage and try to protect Jake from like for dear life. But it's, Jake it's somewhere from, in notable, between those two. notable mobile quarterback, Jake from <sighs> no, I'm not going to lie. And I'm not going to lie. Georgia fan love what he did for us. Love everything about him. Uh, I have a better quarterback than John on my team. Jacob Easton is a better quarterback than Jake from. It's just a, that's just a fact of the matter. Like that's just a, well, he won, he won Nike quarterback of the year participation trophy. So he was at elite 11, which we all know all elite 11 quarterbacks turn out to be fantastic. Well, Jake Fromm won runner up of the year in college participation trophy as well. So like, it's not a Fromm, noted practice squad quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. Noted. Don't hey, it's been Jake, noted. Listen, Jake Fromm sent Jacob Eason's ass to across the entire country. Y'all can listen. I, if we're going to yes. get into this, let's yes. just talk about it. Okay. He, he had his shot. Jacob, listen, I understand he got hurt. He sent that dude packing. Okay. Yes, he did. I don't, I will not, I will not stand for Jacob. You're not Fromm. wrong. Slammer. You're not wrong. You're not um, wrong. There is, I'll there is it, a, I'll let it go a little bit, but like, come on, yeah. come on. There is a first row collegiate student who has a black eye still from Jacob Eason's uh, uh, errant throws going above <laughs> everybody and hitting him square in the nose. So got great elite arm talent, elite arm strength <laughs> though. Jacob Eason noted so does Anthony Richardson. I don't know. Noted you know. arm from talent knee. from noted knee. arm talent. Uh, yeah, all right. Join the track and field team at UGA, but he threw the discus oh, like this. <laughs> <laughs> put a nice spiral on it. This has been Long John Bulldogs. Thanks for tuning in this week. Come back again next week. We've got lots more to discuss. Um, and we'll get these guys back together. We got to draft a defense. We got to draft a defense to go with these offenses. Uh, we're going to come back out here and do it again. So uh, join us next week. We got a lot more on the Lockdown Bulldogs podcast. For Clint, Michael, and John, I am Daniel. We'll see you guys next time. See you.